Hey traders, John Hal here. It's a bit of a market update, but a different market update time for you guys. And uh, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the VIX and what's actually happening with that. Before I get started, this is general advice only. This is uh, this is just me just showing you what I'm seeing in the markets right now and what may or may not happen in the markets. All right, so there we go. Um, you know, guys, this is trade the market is risky, causes substantial financial loss. Just, just, you know what? Just don't even trade the markets. <laughs> that's better off. Just watch these videos for entertainment. That's about it. <laughs> anyway, guys, before I start, um, I'm, st I'm still running some more training events. Uh, so if you're interested in running a live, tra uh, you're running, interested in joining a training event with me, it's first link in the description. Let's go. Anyway, guys, let's actually get straight into the market. So first thing I want to bring up the Dow Jones. And we can actually see what the Dow Jones did today. Obviously, like a little rise today, just a little rise. But we definitely are very weak, aren't we? We're definitely very, very, very weak where we are right now. The market's just slowly, 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 slowly rising up. So it's very, very interesting interesting to see how very weak we are right now on the Dow Jones. But then if we have a look at the VIX, you can see how the VIX right now, if I actually, let me bring up this chart here. The VIX right now is actually at ultra low levels, ultra, ultra, ultra low levels. And you can see where it actually closed today at 960, sort of come down through there. So I'm actually expecting a bit of a spike up like that coming soon. So um, so right now, is the VIX actually telling us something? Is the VIX, is the VIX because the VIX is so low, is the VIX telling us that we're about to get a bit of a snapback, a bit of a pullback in the markets and a bit of a bit of a rise in the overall and a bit of a rise in the uh, in the overall, um, uh, yeah. And and is, is the market is is the market about is the, is the stock market about to fall? And are we about to get a shoot up in the VIX? Is the VIX telling us something? Something's about to happen in the markets. I'm not sure, but you can tell every time that it got down to these. Actually, it got down to an ultra low level where it is right now. So they say the VIX is a fear index. Yeah, it's a fear index when the market drops, but you know, it also can be a complacency index too, right? Like when the market gets down to these ultra low levels, it's where most people are most most complacently complacent, and then suddenly you get a big bit of a spike in the VIX. Makes sense. So, um, so yeah, so it could be it could be a, a complacency complacency um, um, a guideline as well too. Like some something's about to happen. So. Um, there we go, guys. Nothing much. Obviously, the Dow Jones is nicely rising, but the VIX is also down at that ultra low levels. Is the VIX telling us something about to happen with the overall markets? Are we about to get a sharp pullback in the market? Um, and and is, the, in the, is the fear index about to spike? Now, um, I actually mentioned yesterday that I got into the VIX yesterday, this day right here. All right, so this on this day right here, I actually got into the VIX. And uh, yeah, if you just go to VIX, VIX, you actually can buy options on that. Now I'm not, I'm not writing options. I'm not writing options. I'm not, I'm not going to take option. I don't even know how, how, how it works. But what I do know is that you can buy and sell and so on and so forth. So what I'm saying here, guys, is that yes, I got into the VIX this day here, and and again, I got into this, I got into the VIX this day here. All I need is probably just a nice small rise probably just a nice spike back up to the level through here. I'll pick up my good 20, 30, I'll pick up my good probably 30% return um, on the option and then I'll be taken out and then that'll be a good trade for me. So it doesn't have to move much for me to pick up my 20, 20 or so percent return actually on the uh, on the option there. So so there we go guys, bit of an update. If, again, if you go, this is the VIX, that's the trade, the VIX. But again guys, be careful when you're trading the VIX, right? Because any small spike you get, you just want to be quick to get out of that thing, and then, and then that's your trading done. I've I've gotten hammered, absolutely hammered in the past by trying to wait for really, really, really big spikes. It's not like that. I'm in right now. I'm waiting for a short-term spike, and after that short-term spike, I'll be yeah, you know, I'll be out of that thing real quickly. If if we get up to like eleven, twelve dollars, and it stalls through there, and we just sort of stalls through there, that's when you should be saying, I'm, even if I'm at ten percent profit, I'm out of that thing. Bye, see ya. <laughs> Makes sense. So, it's a, it's a, it's it's not really a trading setup. It's just more of we know we're likely to get a bit of a spring back, especially being at these ultra low levels. So that's the reason why I'm trading it there. So, anyway, guys. If you uh, come and join me on my next training event, next links are in the description. Also, if you're interested in my in my books as well too, they're all in the description as well. All right, guys, talk to you next time.